happy peoples, hope you guys are doing fantastic. Okay, this is what's going on today. As you can see, can you see? Lots of snow. Gotten well over a foot of snow in the last little bit. Right now it is raining outside, which is never a good thing when you're dropping in temperatures that go below freezing because then you have an ice skating rink for said roads. But being as we are expecting about five to eight more inches of snow, <laughs> 2020 just let us, let us just go. <laughs> I'm gonna run into town and I am going to go to Costco. Gonna go get a little bit of shopping done. We are pretty bare in our fridge right now. Let me, let me show you the status here. It's looking kind of sparse. Uh, we don't have any milk. We're low on eggs. We have a pound of hamburger in there. And I mean, that's, that's pretty low. But we always like to do kind of preparedness shopping too. I've got most of that. Like I feel pretty good about it. I'm gonna go see what they have in stock. I've been hearing word around is that some of the shelves in our area and across the country are starting to look a little bit scarce. So I'm just gonna go check it out, survey it, see what we got going on. I feel pretty confident in my food storage that I have right now, but it doesn't hurt to look, see what's available, see what's out there. I'll double check my stock before I go. I have a pretty good running inventory of that, but we shall see. <sighs> I'm starting late. I'm starting much later than I wanted to. What I'll probably do is I'll just take you around. I'll kind of show you some of the things that I got and then we'll come back here, reconvene, tell you the prices, show you what I was able to get. Um, and kind of what we do in preparedness for when we know that we could potentially not be able to go out. If the roads end up being super bad and you're not able to drive on them very well, a lot of times, you know, you're stuck at home for a while. Um, and then snow. This last dump of snow, it was really difficult for a lot of our snow plows to get the roads cleared off. I always try to do the main thoroughfare first. It takes a while. When you're moving, you know, a foot of snow, it just, it takes a while. And then um, any of the side roads, any of the back roads, it takes a very, very long time. So we're gonna go try to get this done. So I feel a little bit better of what I have in stock. If for some reason we would have to hunker in for a little bit, we are able to do it. So that's what we're gonna go do. I'm excited. Yeah, it should be a good time. So let's head on to Costco. Um, we, uh, we had a bit of a problem. Um, I left my purse at home, so my husband is bringing it to me. The roads are extremely bad. Continue shopping in here, see what we can find.
go to the hardware store and go see if they can have if they have like a large generator in stock. They probably won't, but just okay. go in the town. Okay. That would be handy. Do you want to go get tacos? Uh, I got to get back to the office, but you need to drive crazy careful. You might go to four low even and drive super slow. People in the ditch everywhere. important thing about having like supplies on hand is a lot of times you don't know how long you could necessarily be stuck in your home if we have really bad snowstorms really bad roads so being prepared and stocked up is super crucial for living here um, otherwise you'll just run out and you won't have it I think we got most of our stuff I got some stuff for my mom too uh, this is how we're looking it's definitely a heavier haul than what I would normally do, but like I said, I'm kind of preparing a little bit more for longer terms, just in case I can't get out. Regardless, we will use all this stuff. Husband saved the day, brought me my purse. My hero. Okay, let's continue on. I think we're just about done, and we're gonna call it good. And I'm gonna go check out. Where are we going? never go out with your food your phone not charged that was a fail on my heart part we are good it is still coming down raining it's 35 degrees out right now <sighs> my babe wants to go eat but I don't know if we should just because it's just gonna get colder and colder and colder and it's gonna freeze oh my goodness the slush is so bad I just like sunk sunk down and my cart was so stinking heavy I mean I had like two packages of water bottles on there Whew. so that is that um, I feel a little bit better I feel like I have stuff a lot of times I notice that um, if you're going through something or like there's there's you can't get out the roads are bad you're stuck at home if you have things that um, make you feel more comfortable like the normal um, I find that it's able to get, you're able to get through it a lot better mentally um, as opposed to just like rationing things right we don't we don't necessarily want to dive into our food storage we still want to be able to we still want to rotate through all that obviously so it doesn't go bad but um, we want comfort stuff you know that's gonna make us be like oh we're fine it's totally fine so that's what I did I got um, obviously toilet paper because you never know for some reason that was the hot commodity I will drive very very slow I'm probably gonna drive 40 miles an hour all the way back home and we'll go over show you all the groceries that I got let you know a total price and call it good so see you back at home. this big black cloud is coming down Well, we made it home, got all the things. I'm pretty happy, got it in and out really fast. Holy guacamole, it was a saga with the no purse and the roads being super bad, craziness. Okay, so um, I kind of, I showed most of these with the prices and whatnot. Okay, so basically I just got things that essentially would um, help us to buying bigger bulk items, buying um, maybe a little bit more than what I would normally buy. Convenience foods, but also a lot of our fresh fruits. 
um, because we probably wouldn't be able to get those if we are snowed in or the roads are really, really bad, things like that. So grand total with all the things, I did buy some things for my mom. She got some cheese. Oh, there's a rotisserie chicken that we've already deboned, things like that. So the grand total is $388.21. Let me know how that compares to where you guys are at. Hearing how you guys, how there's just difference and variances and Alaska for the most part, generally it costs more to live here. So anyway, so that is what we got. I'm excited I was actually able to get out before the roads got too bad. We'll see, my husband is out plowing right now. It's about this deep in our driveway right now. Thank you guys so much for coming along with us today. I think we're gonna call it a night. I gotta get all my groceries put away. But anyway, give this video a thumbs up if you guys enjoyed it and we'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.